Destiny, after, you know, two emotional games last weekend, how do you guys kind of re focus and recenter, you know, for this week's team? Uh, just come together, watch a lot of film on Villanova, uh, clean up some of Miami things, and just focus on the next game. That's always matters right now. What's the mood in the locker room right now amongst you all? What's the mood right now? Uh, just positive vibes, excited to get to the 316 for the first time, staying connected, being together, and uh, just staying humble at the moment right now. Destiny, you're going to be facing the top scorer in the whole country. Can you talk about her? I'm sure you've probably watched her. What is it about her that makes her so good, and what do you guys have to do to stop her? Um, Like you said, she's she's the top scorer in the nation right now, so we're going to uh, try to stop her. Obviously, players like that, it's, it's kind of hard to stop, but we just want to limit her shots and um, just try to do all we can to you know come out with another win. What is it that makes her different from other shooters, or what does she do? Um, I haven't watched a lot of film on her just yet because we was off yesterday and came in uh, so late. But just seeing a lot of uh, posts on social media, I think she can score the ball a three, two, uh, two. Um, she gets to the rim well. So we're just going to try to stop her as much as we can. Like I said, she's a great player. And uh, stopping a great player is kind of like hard. So we're just going to do all we can just to try to stop her. What does it mean for Miami basketball in general that the men and the women are both in the Sweet 16? and? Did you guys feed off some of the energy of them beating Indiana? Was that was there any connection? Oh uh, yeah, we definitely fed off them beating Indiana. Cause I mean, if they could do it, then why not us? And um, I mean, it, it feels great for having both both teams into the Sweet 16 this year. And kind of like a, a big picture thing, but like it's only the second time Miami but uh, Miami women's program made it to the Sweet 16, just like and it's the first time in like 30 years. It doesn't make you guys like think about it, or just like you put out of your mind and don't worry about it until the season's over. Um. Just trying to get doves, you know, we're not trying to just stop at the Sweet 16, you know, it's our first time, but it'll be our first time in the Elite Eight too. So, you know, just continue to try to make history, continue to try to make uh, our families proud, the program proud, the uh, school proud, and uh, just keep the momentum going into the, you know, Elite Eight, Sweet 16, and therefore. Have you, have, you, or have you or any other players on the team talked to like Isaiah, Jordan, any of those guys who were made it to the Elite Eight last year? Because they were kind of... In the same respect, they made it to the Elite Eight for the first time in program history and did that all for the first time in Miami. Right. No, I was just in a training room with the guys, and we were just talking about how we both, you know, overcame with uh, Indiana. And uh, we were just sharing the moment that we did it within 24 hours within each other. Um, we haven't really talked too much about the Elite Eight because we haven't made it past the Sweet 16 yet, so our focus is strictly on the Sweet 16 right now. What was that, that exact moment when, when you realized that you had won the game? What, what went through your mind? Uh, surviving events, you know, March can, March, March, March is definitely a place where you want to be playing at and uh, anything can happen, anything is possible. Uh, just being grateful for the moment, being humble and um, I, I want to say respecting the team that we beat, you know, because they are a very good team. Indiana is a very good team, well coached and uh, very humble players on that team, so I get all respect to them. But uh, just being in, at Miami is, is history for us, so I also got to, you know, re recognize that. And what does it mean uh, to keep from the players. This is her first six, Sweet 16. Uh, personally, I just want to just say that for me to send us to the Sweet 16, I think Katie Meyer saw me hit a game winner when I was about 15 years old. So helping her get to the Sweet 16 for her first time, it meant the world to me because she seen me do this when I was about 15, 16 years old. And uh, I, I guess it mean the world because she never been there. For me to you know help this program get there, it mean a lot for me. How about the ESPN interview? Obviously, that went viral and uh, was talked about all over the country. Um, what was your mindset at that moment? Uh, I mean, sports is, is a lot of emotions, you know, especially when you make history in a night that the whole world is betting against you. And uh, I definitely slipped up on that one, but it won't happen again. <laughs> but um, yeah, just remaining humble, taking opportunity for uh, anything, take advantage for any opportunity that comes our way and uh, just continue to be with our fears and, you know, try to get more dubs. Uh, yeah, today is going to be our first practice after the Indiana. We was off yesterday doing a lot of rehab, a lot of uh, treatment, and uh, we're going to come back together, um, you know, do a lot of more film on Villanova. Our focus is Villanova right now. You know, that's our next opponent, and um, trying to see what we can do to win that game and just continue to make history for Miami basketball.